Mickle Mouse, off to work, are we? Yes, and today's the last day of Parliament, and I was wondering if you'd all like to come along and see what goes on. Cool, thanks, Mickle Mouse. We'd love to come. I say, rather. Well, it all sounds very boring to me. We could have lunch there if you want. Lunch? Oh, that gets my vote. Vote, Parliament, get it? <laughs> I hope you two are going to take this visit seriously. I'm going to take my lunch very seriously. <laughs> Let's find us some seats, and remember, you must keep quiet. Uh, oh, I, I think I'm going to sneeze. Here, take my spare handkerchief. Shh. I say, it's all rather splendid. I wouldn't mind working here myself. <laughs> oh. What is it you actually do, Nickel Mouth? I was elected to come here and listen to the MPs debating. So. If anything happens that may affect our station, I'd get to know about it straight away. Forewarned is forearmed. I've only got two arms. Yeah, no brain. You see, Squeak, if they ever decide to close our station, for example, we'd know in advance. Keeping your ear to the ground, as it were. <laughs> Here, Vernon, which one of them MPs is Big Ben? Toaster, if they ever put a tax on brains, you get a rebate. Hey? Big Ben is the name of the bell in the clock tower. How does that strike you? <laughs> Here, wait a minute, though. You've given me an idea. How to make this visit a bit more interesting. Come on, Toaster, let's go and see what makes that clock tick. <laughs> oh, this isn't interesting, Vernon. It's exhausting. Oh, oh, look at all these cogs and wheels. I bet the inside of your head looks like this, Toaster. I haven't got a bell inside my head. Look at the size of that! Yeah, that's Big Ben. You can hear that all over London when it chimes. Oh, it must be very loud. Yeah, Toaster, I've just had a terrible thought. I wonder what the time is. It must be nearly lunchtime. <laughs> I think we've dropped a clanger here. Run for it, Toaster. Not that way, you short-sighted pudding. Oh, oh, what's happened? Ah, uh, you've just run out of time. Oh, and on the face of it, so have I. God, this debate sounds important. What's going on? Well, it seems Big Ben has stopped. And they can't go for lunch until the clock strikes one. <sighs> of all the days for it to stop, it stops when we're here. Wait a minute. We're not all here, though, are we? Where are Vernon and Toaster? Oh, I'm sure they'll be hanging around somewhere. Vernon, is this what is meant by having time on your hand? No, I think it means our time is up. Look, it's Vernon and Toaster. No wonder the clock has stopped. The ants can't move. I say, things look a little strained up there. <laughs> oh, 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 hold on, Toaster, oh. hold on. We're about to clock off. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Quick, Toaster, get that hanky out. Doesn't time fly when you're having fun? Zone <laughs> <laughs> and a Toaster off to a flying start. <laughs> now, next time, Toaster, will you look before you leap? Thanks for showing us around today, Little Mouse. Yes, but trust Vernon and Toaster to do something stupid. Yeah, you could say they're as regular as clockwork. 